Hey everybody, it's Joe Doom back for another video. Happy 2020! Yes, it is the new year. First video of the year. Uh, a buddy of mine said, Hey, why didn't you post a Happy New Year video? I was like, well, what are you talking about? I scheduled one. He's like, mm, it didn't show up. Well, for whatever reason, uh, it just didn't show up. And apparently, New Year's, Christmas, and <laughs> Thanksgiving didn't show up. So... Whatever, I'm not worried about it. But anyways, this is actually really cool because the first video that I'm doing is really cool. So my buddy, who's actually right over there, he doesn't want to be on camera, he doesn't want to be named. What's up? <laughs> anyways, um, he's like, hey, since you didn't do a first video, I got a really cool one for you. And he watched one of my previous videos and convinced him to buy... Something from Saber Forge! <laughs> I was like, no way, that's so cool. Yeah. So, and he was kind enough to let me unbox it for him. Are you okay with me lighting it up for the first time? Okay, cool. All right. He, does, he doesn't He doesn't. want to be hurt or anything. He was like... So, I was like, okay. So, I'll be very careful since this isn't mine. So, but it's actually... I have another part of this video. It's gonna be the same video, but I actually just ordered something from Saber Forge as well. So it's not it's it's not a saber, unfortunately, but it is something pretty cool. So I'm gonna do the same thing in this video. So all right, with without further ado, let's get into it. I'm not gonna use my regular knife because it's not mine. So here we go. Woo! Look at all that packaging in there. Ooh, what is this? What is this? This wasn't in the packaging and when I got my saber. Let's see. Oh, something fell out. Oh, okay, okay. So they just packaged it differently. So this is the hex key that they provide you for removing the, uh, the blade and stuff and uh, various other things. Oh, that's a different hex key. There might be something else on this. This is the one that you use to remove the blade. It's a lot smaller. I was going to say, that's quite a difference. Um, this is interesting. You got this knob thing. I think it might be for the, uh, the clip. The cup that you s attach the saber to your belt. And, oh, this one's a little bit different than mine. This is the the cover tech clip uh mine i don't have it with me i don't think nah it's not it's not within reach but mine has the little buttons on the side so when you click it you put it in it secures it so it can rotate and stuff like that but it won't come out this one is basically you just slides in there and without having to push any buttons you can just slide it right out and just it's like grab and go <laughs> nice that's cool. I like that. Oh, and there's a like a, a secondary type of a uh, uh, attachment here. That's kind of cool. Yeah, nice. Oh, and of course the charging cable, which is a USB cable type thing. There you go. USB mini or micro. I forget what it's called. Everyone should know what this is. Ugh. This is oh, it's got a slightly different tip than mine. Mine was a little bit more elongated, so this one may be a newer version. I don't know, but this is the Infinity Edge Saber Blade, I think that's what it's called. But yeah, it's uh, this is what goes into the Saber Hilt. Oh, look, I got mine right here. See? It goes into the hilt, and uh, yeah. Let's see the difference. Let's see if there's a difference. I know I'm stalling, but... Oh, yeah, look at the difference. This one's, this one's mine, this one's his. Huh, I'll have to see what that looks like when uh, when it's put in the saber. Get it, it's out of the way. And speaking of saber, it's in here. Okay, I'm going to be careful with this. Let's see here, it's got tape on it. Oh, there's tape almost all the way around it. Oh, there's more tape. There's even more tape. Are you sure you want me to do it, you wanna do it? Okay, okay, he's saying he wants me to do it. Okay, so here we go. Oh, I think I could see it. This is a lot bigger than what I thought this was. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. It's shiny. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. So this is the Bane Mark II and it's chrome. Now of all the unboxings that I've seen online, it's always been the weathered version. And this is chrome. Oh my gosh. So, oh my gosh, this is so cool. This is this is almost like the Darth Maul um ending lightsaber but this is the back end they got the speaker in there if you can see that this actually doesn't feel bad i never really liked the appeal of the curved sabers i thought they were cool looking but i just didn't think they'd be all that wow that's comfortable right there wow and now let's, wow, look at this. It's almost like horns coming out here and this very aggressive point. Wow. And the, uh, the blade plug in there, if you could see that. Yeah. That's cool. So this is, here's the, the power button. This is the hex screw that you use to take out the blade plug and replace it with the actual blade. So you just put that in there. Oh, you heard it drop down. And this just slides out like so. This is a cool one. Look at that. Can you see that? Get my face out of there. Wow, that's really cool. I have a couple of different ones. I have this one, which is the reactor core. And I have like the standard issue, just general one. Um, but I don't know where I put it. So yeah. So that's actually really cool. Time to put the blade in. Just like that. Tighten that down. All right. Now he didn't tell me what sound font or color blade he got. So can I turn it on? Okay, yeah. Fulcrum. Fulcrum? What is that? Whoa! It's purple! And it's fluctuating! Nice! Ooh, nice! Ha <laughs> That's really cool! Okay, so... Cyber Assassin! <gasps> You got the gray side sounds! Ha! <laughs> Cause I have this one! Whoops. I forgot how to I forgot how to switch it. Here we go. That's really cool! I like that. Cause on mine. Mine's a little bit louder because I changed it in uh, Saber Core. Um, this is a program that you can customize your Cyber saber. Assassin. See, Cyber Assassin. Ominous. Ah, I forgot the. Cyber Assassin. See, I have the flux. I have the uh, the pulsing one. Oh, yours has energy vibration. That's cool. I have that too. Actually, um, I didn't request energy vibration in mine, but it ended up in there anyway, so it didn't cost me any extra. <laughs> Shh, don't tell them that. <laughs> All right, let me turn mine off. Oh, this is like a little baby one. This just sounds... <laughs> That's cool. All right. Nice. And then... Frozen winds. This one sounded really unique. You hear that? Yeah. Nice. Hmm. 
That seemed to be a little bit off in the timing, but... Let's try it again. Yeah, that's a little off. You might have to change that. You might want to mess with that a little bit, so... Anyways, that is cool. I've never seen an all-chrome one before. Um, the one that I saw online was, like, chrome and, like, black and stuff like that. So, dude, this is cool looking. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to have fun with this. So, and believe it or not, these sabers are actually designed to take a beating for dueling. So I think that's pretty cool. We're not going to duel. Maybe later. I don't know. But, uh, uh, so now for the research that I looked into, let's see here. I'm not sure if it's one of these. I think it could be, but I think it's primarily these. There's one on each side. You see here, there's a hex screw right here. Focus on the thing. Come on. There we go. There's a screw here and there's a screw right here. And there's the same thing on the other side. I think it's customizable where you can place this. So depending on where you want to attach this to either your belt or I know for a uh, Megacon, which I'm going to again this coming year, uh, or I've already got the tickets and everything. Um, I, instead of putting the clip on my belt I wanted to walk around with my saber with the blade in and if it's on my belt it's too long to do that so I decided I'm going to attach oops mine relatively high up like this so that way I can walk and have the blade attached to the saber under my sith robe so that way I could just flick open the robe and just go Rah! and stuff like that it's gonna be fun anyways um but yes, this is where, come on, focus. This is where you attach it to the cover tech clip. And since it's already attached, I'll show you. Because they're they're compatible with anyone. So you just slide it in like that. And there you go. You got a hanging saber from your belt or wherever you attach it to. And unlike mine, which has the buttons, like I said earlier, you just pull it off and you're ready to go. So that's pretty cool. Dude, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> I hope you're happy. So, uh, there you go. This is the All Chrome Bane Mark II from Saberforge. But wait, there's more. I also bought something from Saberforge recently. And it's, like I said, it's not a saber, but it is something pretty cool. It's, an, it's a change to my Megacon costume. From last time, uh, if you watched that video, I had like a half mask that was kind of like really cool looking. I think Darth Bane? Is it really Darth Bane? It's so ironic. I think it's Darth Bane who um, has like a, it's like a half Vader. Like you could see like the top half, but you have the mask down below. It's in a Old Republic. Just a Star Wars Old Republic. It, oh, bleh, I can't talk. Star Wars Old Republic. It's a game. Check it out. I've never played it, but and supposedly they may be making a movie out of it. Not really sure, but anyways. That's the mask that I had. That style mask. But I wanted something a little bit different. And Saber Forge just happened to have a brand new type of mask. And let me get it out of the plastic because I want the big reveal to be amazing and not reflecting a whole lot of shininess because there is a lot of that here it is <laughs> this thing is cool this is called the cyber assassin and which is perfect because one of the sound fonts as you heard on the Bane Mark II and on mine is cyber assassin so you listen cyber assassin there you go but yeah this feels great now let's see how it looks. Oh, yeah. I have an idea. I'm not gonna go into details right now because I know this video is getting a little bit long, but basically I'm probably gonna wear sunglasses under these so you can't see my eyes. This is gonna be cool. Anyways, let's hook up the strap to see how it looks. Okay, 
So I finally got the thing on. Let's see how this looks. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that looks really cool. Sorry, I'm looking in the viewfinder, which is I find very annoying when people do, but I've this is the first time I've seen this. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to put some sunglasses on. Wait, right there. Oh, yeah. This is much more what I had in mind. Nice. So I'll have to play around with this a little bit more, but nice. This is cool. <laughs> so anyways, oh, hi, I got sunglasses on. <laughs> oh, wow. So what an exciting first video of the year. This is a great way to start the year. I promise I'm going to be doing more um, videos. I'm going to try to do at least one a week. I'm going to try to do more than that, but we'll see what happens. Um, I also want to announce that Star Wars Related, I am actually in the process of making a three-part series. Very short little video clips. Uh, it's very different from anything I've ever done before, but it's kind of Star Wars-y and it is fun looking. But uh, I'm in the process of, I've already got the footage shot. I've got the script all done. I've got a lot of the editing done, the rough editing done. All I have to do now is... Uh, ask some friends <laughs> to help me with some uh, bonuses like graphics and stuff like that and I gotta find some music maybe or whatever I got a lot of stuff I gotta do but this is going to be a cool video I hope you're going to enjoy that so this is the Bane Mark II all chrome lightsaber from Saber Forge this is the Cyber Assassin mask from Saber Forge as well. You can get them both obviously at Saber Forge. <laughs> I will leave a link in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.